Hey there guys, it's been a year. I've missed you guys. So in that year I haven't posted, hey, a lot has happened and you might notice a little bit of a different environment behind me. In the last year, I actually bought my first house, right? And uh, managed to secure a three car garage as well too. So, hey, not so bad. Now, unfortunately, I don't have all three of the bays just filled with cars and projects, which not necessarily how I wanted to go. But this third bay, as you can see, allows me to be a little bit messy and have a bunch of car parts always on the table. And I got a, got a little bit of a squat rack there too. <laughs> now for the Corvette itself, there are actually a couple of updates to the car. Biggest thing you might notice is that there are new wheels sitting on the car. Old ones are over there. You would think I would have uh, made a video for these wheels with uh, how much of an arm and a leg they cost me. We're about to wash them, so don't blame me that they're dirty at the moment. We have Signature SV701s, and we have them in a 13-inch wheel that is wrapped in an R888R, it's a 345 19. Not too much meat on them. It is only a 30 sidewall on the car there. Up front, we still have the same 19 inch wheel. I believe this is a 11 inch wheel on the front with a 295. Yeah, 295, I can read that from here. Also lowered the car about half an inch as well too. I think it looks and it sits a heck of a lot better with these wheels. The Fitman is also pretty damn perfect with the rears as well too. And of course, with them being 345s, it does look pretty thick at the rear there. The rest of the car is basically unchanged. I still haven't even changed out the deck in the center there. This thing really needs a wash, so let's get a cold start and let's get to washing it. So while we get this thing washed, let's talk about the future of the Corvette. But before we talk about the future, let's talk about the past and how I've hit 1 million views on YouTube. I'm so thankful. Here are some memories from my channel. What's up? Try a zero to 60. Ooh. Tires off the line. Oh, a little chirp in a second. There's 60 and some. I'm making this video today to give you guys a no brainer. And that no brainer is a C6 Corvette.
Okay, yeah. It's nice how it's the just three inch all the way back yes. too. So I'm messing with any two and a half inch pipe. Well, she's nice and clean. I'm not sure how many of you C6 owners deal with this, but I have to put a towel around my mirrors every single time I wash the car. Otherwise, it will drip down. I mean, I love the look of a black car when it's nice and clean. But how long does it really stay clean for? Maybe 10 minutes or so? Go and drive it. There's a bunch of dust and fuzzies sticking to it. I gotta say, I'm at a little bit of a crossroads with this car now. There's nothing really else I can do, maybe besides a couple more minor little bolt-ons. You get that water there. There's nothing really left to do on this car besides maybe a couple minor little bolt-ons or boost. And boost on this car will be a pretty big commitment. The car has 60,000 miles, so if I do boost it, it will likely need a clutch. If I need a clutch, an entire supercharger system, and someone to install all of that, probably gonna cost me around 15 grand or so. If you remember my Mustang days, as soon as I put a supercharger on that car, it never ran. This car literally never gives me any problems. I can always jump into it, take it for a drive, and enjoy it, which is the point of owning a car like this. So I am worried to supercharge it. Let me know your thoughts about keeping the C6 and seeing it supercharged. I still wanna do it, but hey, maybe putting more money into uh, another car might be a better idea. At the end of the day, I still absolutely love this car. So will I probably end up still supercharging it? I think so. I wanted to thank you guys for tuning in again here. I think the next video update here is going to be, hey, just talking about the total cost of my build. I might also do something somewhat related to car content, but maybe not so much. I'm a mortgage loan officer. I just bought a house. Let me know if you guys want any advice on buying your own house and keeping your car instead of selling it because you don't need to sell your car to buy a house in all situations. Thanks everyone again for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one.